What's going on everyone? Juicebags here and welcome back to some Don't Starve Shipwrecked. Uh, well, since last episode I uh, had some monkey wars go bad. I burned down all my grass crop and I got myself poisoned. So um, things were not exactly looking up. Now uh, today, I really, seafood, or, or seaweed, pardon me is such an just amazingly awesome resource in this game. I want to get out and do some seaweed collecting. Um, that's also, that's going to allow me to make some more, you know, more bamboo. I'm also going to need some more coral, as I want to be ready to go with another poison if need be. And, um, you know, my last episode getting poisoned like that just ruined my day, so to speak, with, uh, particularly in my coral situation, I realize that if that happens again, I'm going to be kind of screwed, and I don't want to be in a position where I have to come out and, and hunt down materials while I'm poisoned. In fact, I could probably go ahead and make an anti-venom. I don't think they have an expiration on them. No spoilage whatsoever. Grab all the coral I can for now. I hate the way this coral drops in between the rocks like this. Can't pick it up. Be a nice, uh, nice little patch of seaweed here, though, and coral. So I'll be pretty well squared away there. And then I'm going to be able to get some more of those muscle sticks out. Now I am going to uh, I'm going to pick a muscle stick that I previously planted. You know they're not even ready yet. I'm not going to do it. I was going to go ahead and pull one, but you know the longer you leave them in the water, of course, the more muscles you have on them, and the food has no expiration. So um, you guys are just going to have to trust me. The food does not spoil. The muscles do not spoil when they're on the stick and in the water. I'm not going to pull them out just because the whole point of it is to leave them in there in case of an extreme emergency. I'll have some uh, some food available. Now, uh, almost a full stack of coral. Guess I'll get this one real quick too. Boy, the coral eats through the pickaxes like mad. There we go. I got I think 20 is in a stack, so that should be a full stack of coral. Got uh, eight seaweed, so that's going to allow me to make some more muscle sticks. And then I got a full moon. So I'm not going to have to worry about the darkness tonight. And that's just awesome. Going to just cruise around all night long, I think, and uh, continue to find the seaweed here. I mean, it's just it's an awesome food source. You can eat it raw. Plus, there's so many just important aspects of the game to craft with them. You know what? I haven't explored down this way too far since uh, I've got the waves on my side here. Maybe if I can catch one of them. Let's see if I got anything down here in the immediate area. It's like deep ocean, huh? Looks like that might be an island over here or is that just a little that's just a little tease on the on the mini map there like I said don't have to worry about darkness tonight so I'm just gonna go for it and take a little trot and uh, see what's here in the immediate area as I do want to head south eventually and get that X marks the spot and I have no idea what's out here at all there's some stink rays definitely be staying away from those guys Wow, doesn't look like a whole lot of anything, huh? Let me go over this way and then head back up. How's the boat holding up? At 160. I did, uh... I made another boat repair kit as well. As, you know, I don't want to have any issues with my cargo ship here. I'm just going to put that snakeskin hat in there to save a little space. 
Helps if you pay attention when you're uh, fighting the waves here. And I'm uh, not usually the best at paying attention, so... They have calmed quite a bit, though. It's not near as bad as it was just a few days ago. Yeah, we got some more coral, which I'm assuming is going to mean some more seaweed, indeed. Better check it. Oh, this is just a real small little reef area. I was going to say I better check it fully, just in case. Uh, I still haven't found the, the Yarktopus. I found him on every other one of my playthroughs. I've ended up running, running into him. But I haven't found him yet on this one. This looks like a little bit bigger bigger coral patch, and there is the tip of an island over here. So, you know what, since I've got so much daylight, and since I need to replenish my grass, <laughs> why don't we head on over here and just run around on this island and, and get that done. Oops. Don't want to pick. Don't want to dig up Just gonna ignore uh, these snakes for the most part. Let old Abigail take care of business. Man, just a tiny little strip of beach there. There's some more though. Gotta be some. I was gonna say, gotta be some more grass going over here. This is another. This is a pretty small little island. It looks like. Unless it opens up further at the bottom, which, you know, just may. See, we got a lot more jungle. Yeah, this is a tiny one. Not a whole lot to offer here. Green mushrooms. Some snakes. Sanity's holding strong, so I'm not too worried too worried about it. Let's see, let's just head back on to the boat and continue on around. I just kind of want to map out a little more of the perimeter. Since I'm doing so good on sanity, I'm just going to eat some of this seaweed raw. Pop my hat back on and call it good. And you see, here comes the flooding. We're only, we've got 17 days left in monsoon season, so quite a bit more flooding to deal with. And uh, much more widespread. But for right now, it's not too bad. Just be, be in the beginning of monsoon season and all. And what have we over here? Just more coral. Let's see, where are we now? We're just about due east. Got that other island right above. And it just amazes me that there's no island over here. This is a pretty large, wide open area to just have a expanse of ocean. It seems like the... seems like there should be an island here. But there's not. It actually gets deeper, it looks like. Just run through and uncover a little bit more of this map here. As it really seems there should be something here, but apparently there's not going to be. Sanity is dropping now. I think I need to, to head on back. Perhaps make a few more of my muscle sticks. And get my sanity squared back away. There is another message in a bottle. Awesome. get into the shallows a little before I bother bother reading that. I'm going to leave that spoiled fish times nine. Yeah, apparent, apparently I left that there before. Alright, let's uh, let's check it out and see where it is. It's right next to the other one. <laughs> oh, so I've got two of them way down here now. I'm going to have to just make the road trip and get to exploring down south there. Two, uh, Two X marks the spots just waiting for me. Now there's 16 seaweed too, so that is that's plenty. 
And I'm getting down to 36% left on my sail, so I'm going to have to do something with the sail here as well. Oops. Didn't get much grass there, huh? Like I said before, though, luckily I've got uh, an absolute abundance of it. Let's see, let's just plant these right here and get something uh, yummy to eat here that's going to help out my sanity. I'm thinking a little surf and turf. Yeah, it gets me back up there nicely. Still got the honey ham, I got some meatballs. Did I have anything else to throw in there? I didn't. So, that should be good. Another bottle. Now two of them. Two X marks the spots on the same darn island. Craziness. Let's collect up this stuff. I wonder if it's going to give me another full moon. How on earth? That that rabbit hole, or crab hole, pardon me, is has disappeared. Yeah, let's set that one back down there. Yep, yeah, looks like I got the the full brunt of the full moon today, so that's kind of nice. However, oh, god dang it. That's why the damn rabbit hole disappeared. I accidentally dug it up. Son of a bitch, what was I thinking? That's alright, there's uh, more holes down here. I gotta unequip this shovel. Let's get the pickaxe equipped and not have any more issues like that. Day 42 now, so making some, some nice progress. Looks like that trap was done for. I believe I made two umbrellas. So although I burned one of them up, in my backpack there. I think I'm actually good. Let's get all these limpets. Could do a little monster meat farming I guess tonight. say sanity's good enough. I should have left that seashell, but whatever. Let's see. I gave all these trees a good chopping. Guess I could, uh, could chop. Here's a big one here. We'll get it chopped down. Maybe score another banana. No such luck. See how our bee boxes are doing. I really need to find some more butterflies, too. Bee boxes are actually doing pretty darn good. Get some honey out of there. There will be a massive amount of stingers there piled up. You get so much honey out of these things, it's just ridiculous. Between the honey you get from the bees and honey that you pull directly from the brocks, it's just it's just really out of control. It really is. Now my health is getting a little low, so I'm thinking... Oh, oh, oh. oh! Dummy. Dummy! Well, there's my first death. Luckily, I did leave some tools here. So... I'm gonna be able to get back over there. No problem. Just need to, uh... Just need to get a little bit of equipment and head back over that way. 
the butterflies are back out. That'll uh, lead to some more flower planting. Let's see, so we need... I need three vines. God damn monkeys, man. So two more vines and three more bamboo. We're going to have to see if I got enough left on this machete here. Oop, oop, oop. Dang it. I don't think I'm going to have enough. Oh, it's so close. But uh, it appears as long as the monkeys don't grab this one. Oh, they did, you bastard monkeys. 4% left. 4% is not going to be enough. Damn it. Nope, not enough. So, I'm going to have to take a different route. See, I had an axe in there, too, that was at 50%. What's it take to make a log raft? Looks like I'm going to have to go log, which is just kind of weak. Six logs. Oh, my gosh. Oh, and there's a lure plant. You know what? I'm going to run these monkeys through this lure. Oh, I can't. Look how low my health is. I was going to say I was going to run those monkeys through that lure plant. Oh, there we go. As long as I get no snakes, I should be fine, because all my food and everything was back on the other other island. No big deal. But I would hate to have to stay here for too terrible amount of time. I'm going to get the last log I, I need here, and then get the hell out of Dodge. Gosh, I hope the waves are headed in the correct direction, because if not, I'm screwed. God, this thing goes so slow compared to what I'm used to. Holy crap. That's all right, though. Let's just, uh, let's just get across there. I still got the entire, the entire dusk to essentially get things squared away here, and my pile of goodies should all be laying there when I return, so that shouldn't be a problem. As long as I can make it across this wide, expansive ocean in this bucket of a raft here. Come on land, where are you? Well, the waves are going to help me if I catch one of them. Ugh, I'm missing them all though. There we go, there's one. One wave, that whole distance really. Yeah, I'll make it back with plenty of time it looks like. Let's grab another wave. Oh, I missed that one. Gonna miss these guys. It's, I'll be there before I uh, catch another wave, that's for damn sure. My sanity's slipping now. Ah, I can't believe I died. Day 43. Just being stupid. Getting a little ballsy, not paying attention to my health. Having Abigail, you get so spoiled where you don't really pay attention to what you're fighting. You can just let it go. You know, and um, for the most part, they usually are not doing as enough damage to you to worry about all that much. But in this particular case, oh no, they did plenty of damage. So let's see, let's get my, I'm going to need to get my health up. So let's just head right to the ice box. Uh, eat a little honey ham there, maybe some meatballs. That got me up to 63 at least. If I had some monster meat, I could cook something else up yummy, but I don't, so I'm going to go, I'm going to go with this and see what I get here. Got my first nightmare fuel. And hopefully there's no snakes out over here. Oh, Abigail's still there. Kicking it. Good girl. That's good. At least I don't have to resummon Abigail. Pick all this stuff back up. Let's see, let's drop that one. 
I'm glad, uh, I'm glad all my stuff was here. Now I'm gonna have to get back over to the other island here, or I'm screwed. I actually got a torch, you know what? Let me just go ahead and collect up the nice rest of my goodies. The parrot, of course, has gotta come over and remind me how bad of a fail I just had. I can carry no more. No, but I can plant some trees. Torches at 68%, so I'm in good shape there. It looks like I may have everything off the ground. I definitely don't want to be pissing, pissing any bees off again. Now, did I not have some lobster bisque there? Or the snakes came out and ate it, huh? I bet they did, those bastards. But I got all my coral back. I got a bunch of my stuff back, so that's nice. And let's put this in here. Look at all the honey. Good gosh. Doing well. Let's go. I think that gave me a meatball last time. I'm not positive. But I believe it did. Let's see. I'm going to put all this stuff right here. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Woo! Close call. Holy shit. What's going on with Abigail? Why is she not coming back home? Come on, girl. Let's see. Still got some limpets. I can make some some more fish sticks, I believe. Do I have no twigs? There we go. And, you know what, let me grab this bamboo and these vines. And that's not going to be able to make... I'm not going to be able to make many more. But there's one more muscle stick. I'll get it planted out there. Let's see if I got any, have any bamboo anywhere around here. See, there was one more piece. I don't believe that's enough. I'm going to have to... Oh, there's another piece. Yes, yeah, so that's enough for one more, one more muscle stick. I'm just gonna let this torch burn out. All right, where's the boat? The boat's right there. Let me get these, uh, get these muscle sticks planted, and get my, get my food situation squared away here. Definitely want to have plenty of backup food. I don't want to, uh... Oh, Jesus, there's a stinkray right there. Really? Are you kidding me? What the hell's he doing right there? I don't know. These guys don't come ashore, though, so... All right, now I've got fish morsels that are about to go. In fact, let me refresh them a little bit with these traps. If I can get that stack turned greened again, I'd uh, I'd be happy. And there it is. Very nice. All right, so I got one more muscle stick to plant still. Let's see, let's get that in there. Let's get these in here before they continue to go bad. I'm going to throw this seaweed in there to just slow the process down a little bit there. And I guess I could get out, collect some more seaweed. You know what, I'm going to do that. Uh, I've been paddling around in the boat too much, so uh, I'm going to do that off camera here. Get some more muscle sticks laid down. Collect, collect up a little bit more food. And uh, we'll be back with another episode. Now, I've got no backups now. Uh, day 44, if I die now, it's over. And I, I had much, much larger intentions than only going to day 44. So uh, I got some work to do. But anyway, that's it for this episode. Thanks again for watching. Click that like button. Please subscribe to the channel. And we'll be back soon with some more Don't Starve Shipwrecked. See ya.